Welcome to this week's VetVine Practice Management Pearl. I'm Sandy Walsh, and today we're going to be talking about using your appointment scheduler. We all have an appointment scheduler, and most of us have moved to an electronic appointment scheduler from the old written appointment scheduler that we had so many years ago. But you can still do this, the trick that I'm going to tell you about, with an old style appointment book as well. But I'm going to make the assumption that we all have practice management software and that we're scheduling our appointments through that. When you look at your appointment schedule for the day, which is the first thing I do when I show up for work at the practice, is I look to see who's coming in when, what they're coming in for, what breed they are, so that I know when that client walks through the door, I know who they are, I know when to expect them, but I also know why they're coming in. If we do our job appropriately when we're making the appointments, we'll have everything that we need to know in order to make that client feel welcome and expected the minute they walk through the door. I was part of a focus group recently where we asked clients, would you rather the receptionist addressed you when you walked through the door or addressed your pet when they walked through the door? And it was about 50-50, but the message that came through is clients want to be acknowledged. Okay, so whether you acknowledge Fluffy as they walk through or Mrs. Jones as she walks through, it really doesn't matter as long as that client is made to feel welcome and expected. You should also know, we don't have to ask that question again, what are they here for? And if we're looking at our appointment scheduler and doing what I call appointment scheduler rounds at the beginning of your shift and throughout your shift, other than a client that just walks in for something different, you should pretty much expect everyone that's going to walk through that door. You shouldn't be asking the question, who are you and what are you here for? You already have that information. And the appointment scheduler, doesn't matter what your practice management software is, every one of those appointment schedulers has the ability for you to communicate with your team. Okay, So if there's something unique about this appointment or unique about that pet, you can put that in the appointment scheduler whether it's in a notes section or in the body of the appointment. And I'm talking about things like special considerations that we might make for the pet. You know, client will bring in with a muzzle or this pet has special needs or pre-treat with uh, something before the vaccines so that we have that communication from employee to employee, from team to team, so that it's seamless for the client. They don't see that. What they see is immediate acknowledgement, great communication, and movement through the practice where they don't have to repeat themselves over and over again. So that's this week's Practice Management Pearl.